Hey guys, welcome back to Captain Nerf Major Reviews. Today, I'm excited to be announcing the top three best Nerf shotguns of all time. Uh, just a little disclosure, it is opinionated, but I can back it up, and I actually do think that, that's right, like I can, I think out of the other shotguns, these ones definitely outperform them. Um, 100%. 100%. Uh, when it's done, please comment down below if you would change the rankings or which ones you would add in there. And just before we start this video, I'd like to remind you guys to subscribe because once we hit 100 subscribers, we'll be actually doing Nerf giveaways. We have a 100 subscriber giveaway and then up and other benchmarks. So please subscribe and like this video, guys. Before I start, without showing any of the guns, I'd like to tell you what other shotguns are out there. So what's in the pool if you don't know. First of all, there is the Nerf oh, end strike barrel break, um, original end strike, prop it down, pop two in, close it, and I'm not actually going to explain each one. If you don't know, you can look them up, but I just want to. Um, uh, there's also the rough cut, um, Nerf end strike elite rough cut. There's the Nerf zombie strike sledge fire. There's the Nerf mega twin shot. There's the Nerf. Doomlands Judge, and is there, and there's the Nerf Rival Atlas. So those are the shotguns. If I missed any, well, obviously they're not one of the top three. <laughs> so yeah. All right, let's actually get down to my third pick for the best shotgun of all time. This blaster is actually the rough cut. Um, I actually personally really do like this blaster, so you can get it in blue and white, or you can get it in white and orange color schemes. Uh, my favorite is definitely the white orange. Um, it just fits it a lot more. Um, so this blaster is a front-loading shotgun, so you put eight darts in, two barrels each on each side, and obviously you cock it from the bottom, and you pull the trigger to shoot two. Or, you can actually pull the trigger halfway, and it'll shoot one. But you don't have to cock again, you can pull it even more, and it shoots the other one. Which is actually very nice, because it doesn't have to be a shotgun. Um, I think this is a very simple, but very effective shotgun, compared to some of the other ones with extra tools added. This is just super simple and fun, and Really, any kid can figure this out, as long as you're strong enough to pull it back. Which is not that hard of a priming handle, so it's very simple. Um, some of the pros also is the handle is pretty nice. It's, like, it's long this way, but it's very comfy on your hand. It's, it's a pretty good handle. And I like how small it is. It's not super heavy, like you'd think of for most shotguns. It's very small. Um, so you can actually use it as a secondary because if you have a secondary gun you usually want to have a bandolier or something or um, a carabiner to have it like on your hip and this is just light so it's not heavy plastic banging into your leg it's, it's a lighter plastic which is very nice um, and it has a couple sling points which are perfect for it so that's why the rough cut is my third pick look only cons about this blaster is Sometimes the darts fall out, and it seems like the bottom two are a little bigger. Like, I don't think they actually are, but those ones seem to slide out sometimes. Um, but this does have a smart air restrictor, so if you only have it loaded in two different barrels and not even on the same level, it'll still shoot them both. Um, you don't have to go from the top. It's really cool. It always does start from the top, but you don't have to necessarily start there. Coming in in number two, the runner-up, actually might surprise some of you guys. Um, I think some people would actually classify it as a number one, but I'll get into a number one later. It's actually the Rival Atlas. Um, so it takes rival um, rounds, these foam balls. Um, you load it in from the top. Um, the, Sometimes it doesn't connect, yes. Yeah, okay, it's good. Um, so, I actually like it. I'm not a fan of the putting it in on the top, obviously. You just thought I struggled. Um, but it has these two slides that you push in. 
slides out. It just slides out easy enough. Just sometimes when I push in, it doesn't pop in. Um, but that's the only complaint I really have about this blaster. And also, the handle is super small. I'm not a big fan of giant, giant handles, like the Hera handle. This one's just a little too skinny. Like, my thumb hits my fingers, but... Yeah, it's a Rival Blaster. For those who don't know about Rival, um, it shoots a lot harder and faster than Nerf, like normal Nerf dart guns. They're very effective. Um, and overall, this is a great blaster. And this is a shotgun. And what I'm going to say about it is this is not two barrels. It's only one barrel. Um, but it's still a shotgun. So, like I said, I wasn't going to be like first gun for the regulator. Um, when you pull the trigger, it does shoot two rounds at the same time. Um, yeah, so it's not like a burst, like a one, two, which technically it is, but you don't see it as a, it's, and it shoots two. So. So see, that was two rounds right there. And I already lost a round. Oh, no, nope, found it. It's way over there. But yeah, um, it's a very effective. It's better than having two darts where one, they kind of dodge and miss. It's if one of them hits and they're not moving like really, really fast, the other one might hit as well. So if you're doing a thing where like a couple lives, super effective for that. And I personally love the rival line. I don't get to use them as much in wars, but personally, probably one of my top um, nerf lines that they've done. Super fun shotgun. Um, wouldn't be necessarily good for younger kids. Kind of, not that hard to time, but could be hard for some. But my number one shotgun of all time, comment down below if you actually guessed it, but it is the Mega Twin Shock. And I'm serious guys, I can back it up the, if you guys have money, freaking buy this if you're looking for a Nerf primary, a Nerf shotgun, or a Nerf mega gun. Definitely one of the best Nerf uh, mega guns of all time. One of my favorites used to, used to be the Roto Fury. But dang, this thing is so good and it forms up with it. And it's a freaking shotgun. Um, for those who don't know, it's literally like a mega rough cut. Except for if the priming handle is different. So on the rough cut, um, you had four dart. You had four shots if you shot two at a time, or eight shots if you did one at a time. Um, down the front, right? And then you just cocked it, and you could shoot and you could shoot one or two. This one literally uses mega darts, um, and instead of holding only eight rounds, which is four shots, which isn't very good, it holds. 10 darts, which though it's an extra shot, it it does a lot, especially for a shotgun. The shotgun usually don't hold very much. But yeah, so you can shoot one or two at a time, and it's actually pretty dang accurate, even though it's mega and it's a shotgun. It's easier to shoot one at a time than the rough cut. The rough cut is still very easy, but this is a lot easier. And it shoots really far and hard and it has slam fire. Forgot to mention that, so does the rough cut. For those who don't know, slam fire, you hold down the trigger and it, when you cock it, you prime. I mean, when you prime it, it shoots. Which is crazy and it's super good. It's, shotguns are usually secondaries. You can't use it just to go take down bases as much because they don't hold as much dart. It's more of a burst. They're usually, they're secondary. They're not your primary weapon. And this is literally a primary shotgun, and who doesn't want that? I mean, you get the good things of a primary, and you get the good things of a, of a shotgun, which is great. Because this is definitely too big to be a secondary. Um, but I really love this. It has a nice prime handle, so instead of doing it on the bottom like a shotgun, though, you just have super fast movements, and it's fantastic. Back up my decisions is like to say this. The judge is way too big. Though you get 10 shots, 30 rounds, it's way too big, way too bulky. You can't really hide behind stuff with it, and it's 
kind of slow. Like, it's just not... They could have made it better. Not like they wanted to due to the series. But if they wanted that style of gun, they could have made it a lot better. Because trying to get that much rounds, they had to make that huge drum. Like, there was much easier way to get a good three-shot shotgun. Uh, the barrel break is way too slow. You push it down, you put two darts in, and then you fire. I mean, it was cool. It was actually kind of a cool looking blaster, which was interesting because it actually was a lot smaller than a lot of people would think. But just, it wasn't practical. It just wasn't that good. It didn't shoot very far either. And then the Nerve Zombie Strike Sledge Fire. That one, I actually always wanted to get, but I've used these, I've used it before, and I don't know why, I always wanted to get it for cinematic purposes, to have the shells, for those who don't know, whole shells with three darts, you put a shell in, it shoots, then you eject the shell and put another one in, but it's not practical, it didn't shoot very far, and plus just putting shells in and out wasn't that great, but all these are practical, this, you can go super fast, you have a two-shot shotgun. It was just super light and easy to use and fun. Like it, this actually helped me in wars. The Atlas is great with its power and speed and with the two shots where you can practically hit the target twice just because it shoots so fast. It's a great blaster. But my number one still does go to the twin shock because you got mega, you got a shotgun, and you have a primary. Um and that's the only reason it beats the rivals in a war just using it by itself. The Atlas goes by fast because you can only use 12 dart or huh, 12 round magazines. And that one you just keep reloading uh, from the front and it's super easy to use. So definitely the Twin Shock is definitely my um, favorite. If you guys have any differences, comment down below. There's always those some people who hold guns close to their heart, which I do. I mean used to, but now I'm starting to realize pros and cons more. Uh, just a little plug to my other channel, so you guys don't really have to listen to this, but um, my other channel, Captain Plays, um, I do other stuff, but one of the things I've been doing is gaming, and I've been doing some Fortnite. And I, my, one of my first video, my first Fortnite video on there was the shotgun only challenge, where I can only use shotguns. So if you guys would like to check that out, you guys can go check that out. Also guys, like this video and comment down below if you want me to do a nerf only shotgun battle. I'm thinking that doing the challenges I do on my Fortnite, but doing it with only nerf guns on my nerf here, on the nerf channel. So guys, please let me know. All right guys, thank you guys so much for watching and as always, have a fantastic day.